Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Doctor Strange, issue number 17. I'm going to tell you about who made the book, then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the book, then I'm going to tell you it's time for spoilers, because a lot happened in this. This ends an arc. After this, you're going to have three issues, the final three issues of Doctor Strange, and then it'll become something else. We're not sure yet what. So let's get talking about this now. Uh, Herald Supreme Part 6. Storytellers are Barry Kitson and Mark Wade. Finishes Scott Koblish. Colors Brian Reber. And VCs Corey Petit on letters. Jesus Sayez does the cover. There's a carnage variant cover by Emma Lupacino and David Curiel. The designer is Anthony Gambino. And Doctor Strange was created by Steve Ditko with a little help towards his personality by Stan Lee. So, um... What do you got here? Doctor Strange is the only person left in the... Well, he's not actually in the universe. After the, the events of the previous issue, there's this little tiny ball that is all of existence. And it's supposed to explode, but it hasn't exploded yet. And uh, Doctor Strange exists outside of it. Galactus is inside of eternity. Like, in the very first page, you see the image of Galactus inside of... Eternity, which is actually pretty damn cool. I dig that. But Eternity, who is the embodiment of all things, you know, that exist. He is everything that exists. Living, unliving, all of it. That's what he is. He's there, talking to Strange, outside of the universe. When you have every... Look, I just got to get a little bit scientific here. Sorry, I was an engineer for a very long time. Um, when you have the entirety of the universe right here in the palm of my hands, your hands are not in the universe. Where are your hands? It's metaphysical. I'm okay with, you know, using a little bit of the meta on here, right? A little metaphysical stuff. I'm cool with it. But if eternity is all encompassing of the universe, well, then he should actually be in there, not out here, wherever here is. He, sh he exists as part of the, if the universe dies, he dies. If the universe is over there, he can't be over here. So that does, does that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Living tribunal going where he wants, that's fine. He's the only one who exists outside of the universe. Um, he controls all of the universes. So that makes sense. One above all, not even going to get into it. Uh, either way, Mephisto gives him a suggestion, that, and it's only a suggestion, that he should fix the universe. He should re-sculpt the entire universe um, with the hand, the delicate hands of a surgeon so that everything happens exactly as it happened before so that um, we just, you know, because I'm mean, realistic, in my head canon, Al Ewing just refurbished the entire universe. We're on the eighth, <laughs> eighth time that the universe has um, redone itself, right? So this is still technically considered the eighth. Because everything that was before that is kind of what... It, it, this universe happened exactly like the old universe. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, what do you call it? Now I'm going to get into nothing but spoilers. So, here's your three-second warning. Two. One. Rosie and the other guy. Three-second warning. Come down. Old WWE stuff. Um, we've got a new Herald of Galactus. Yeah. Yeah. Zoso, whatever his name is. Actually, Zoso is the uh, the name of um, uh, Zolos. That's his name. Zoso is uh, Jimmy Page. <laughs> you look that one up. It's fun. Real fun. Um, he decides he's got to be the Herald of Galactus. That's the one thing that Doctor Strange changes in this timeline. Because, yeah, it's the only way to avoid all the craziness that happened. Since, And it's only fair, realistically, because... Even though he didn't commit the crime in this version of the universe, in this version of the universe prior to Strange correcting things, it was all him. He's responsible for all this. But he does make the decision to become Galactus' herald, so he's going to be hating life for a while. But it is what it is. Anyway, um, I dig how Mephisto totally messes with Strange you got to read this to understand how he messes with Strange. The trick is that when he goes up to Clea, remember that Dr. Strange said, no, I'll do it. 
And when he touches her, that's when it happens. He had to sacrifice that. It makes sense. Why? Because look at, um, uh, not Spider-Man No More. What was it? The One More Day. Spider-Man One More Day. I know a lot of people don't like that story. Well, I am not in that party. I actually really liked Spider-Man One More Day. It was a very important comic book. It was a very important self-contained event that has continued since, you know? I really did enjoy that story. Um, and I like the idea that Mephisto likes to collect those happy moments. Uh, and it's more than just a moment. Those happy beings, as it were. So when this happens, when Strange has to do this, God, the things that he's willing to sacrifice. Man. But also think about this. He didn't get her permission. They both had to sacrifice, but she didn't do it willingly. And what he says to her right before he says, I love you. Think about that. Let that weigh heavily on you. Wow, that was good. This is, it's so bad. But wow, like this, this really is who Dr. Strange is though, isn't it? That's what Strange does. He just, the greater good, not thinking about anybody else. I loved this issue. I really did. I really do. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, definitely consider checking this one out. You're going to need to read the whole arc. So if you didn't read the whole arc, you want to save yourself a couple bucks. Wait until the um, the um, blah, blah, blah thing comes out, the, the trade paperback, and uh, read that because the ending is – all these issues were good, but, man, that ending, it's worth any, any – issues to get through to get to that event wow that was amazing that was impressive and i'm out professor bill comic book university class dismissed